Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I'm just going to jump right into today's deck. We're continuing with our animation module, fabrication module, decoction module, uh, testing with the Long Tusk Cub, the Aether Storm Rock, the uh, Walking Belief Style. So I have the Metallic Mimic and the Durable Handicraft, which acts as different venues to combo off with the animation module. Uh, I've gone with Fast Mana right now with the Ornithopter and the Loam Dryad. So have the Master Trinketeer to kind of buff everybody. He also makes creatures that can set off the combo. And I have one Nissa Voices Zendikar. I feel like there should be more of her, but I really just didn't have room. I had a lot of things I wanted to try out. I have a single Oath of Ajani to try out because he puts plus one counters on everybody. So even when things are going wrong, I can just try to make everybody big and win the regular way. So I have one Aetherwind Basker to try in there. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, uh, fast mana hand like I wanted, but no real action. So we'll go with a reveal in the plains for a fortified village. Do the fortified village for the loam dryad and also an ornithopter and that's going to be turn one we go on to turn two i'm going to play a forest i have another ornithopter so i'm going to play that ornithopter tap two and my other two for my rishkar prima renegade i'm going to put a plus one counter on both of my ornithopters, I think. And uh, that is going to be the end of that turn. We'll go on to turn three. Turn three, a long tusk cub. We'll do a forest. Two for the long tusk cub. And now I think I can just uh, swing in, but I can also make one, two, three, four, five, six mana right now. I'm going to swing in for one, two, three, four, five. Why is that going to respond to me? Huh. So this one's wanting to work, but the minus is not working. Go on to turn four. A master trinketeer. So I'll be playing a planes. Playing our master trinketeer for three. Actually leave the white untapped for his ability if I want to use it. Now he gives plus one plus one to my ornithopters. So I think that I will just swing in. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and go on to turn five. Turn five. Another loam dryad. And I think that I would want to make a master trinketeer token instead of casting that. So I will do that. Servo, and he is a 2 2 on the buff. Swing for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is going to do it for that first game. Uh, it's good to know that it can actually get down to pounding uh, at least before turn, about turn 4 or 5 uh, without the combo at all. So let's see how the next game goes. One, two, three, four. Okay, we got a, oh, not 
the animation module, decoction module. Lands with two whites, looking pretty good. All right, let's let's do it. So I'm going to go turn one. I'm going to do a canopy vista because I have nothing to cast. Turn two. Forest. I'm going to go ahead and play the forest and tap two. Do a decoction module. I need to get that out before the Aether Storm Rock. Turn three. I was going to go Durable Handicraft and then next turn Metallic Mimic. Getting a plus one counter on it. But I should probably get the... Let's try getting the decoction module first. See what happens. I want to try to get some energy out there. So that's going to do it for turn two. Let's go turn three. The fabrication module. Alright. That's odd. Let's... Let's cast it. So I'm going to tap three for a fabrication module. And that's going to be it for turn three. Let's go turn four. Draw a card. Planes. Go ahead and play that planes. Um, now I can play the Aether Storm Rock or the Durable Handicraft. Okay, so I'm going to tap four. Play my Aether Storm Rock. Aether Storm Rock triggers to get an energy and also triggers my decoction module to get another energy because creature entered the battlefield. And I got two energy, so I get to distribute two plus one counters. And that will do it for turn four. Let's go on to turn five. Jar card. Oh, Aethelin Baster. Okay. I'm going to play uh, planes. Going to tap two for a metallic mimic. Maybe I should do a durable handicraft first. Yeah, I'm gonna tap two for a durable handicraft. Two for a metallic mimic. Metallic mimic entering the battlefield gives me an energy. I'm gonna put that plus one counter on the Aether Storm Rock. And then I'm going to tap one and trigger the Durable Handicraft to put a plus one counter on my Metallic Mimic. Now the Metallic Mimic entering the battlefield. Uh, one trigger. Oh, I would have got two energy. Double, double. That's what I'm forgetting. I have four energy. I'm going to go ahead and put that one on the Aether Storm Rock. And swing with the Aether Storm Rock. And I'm going to eat two of my energy to put a plus one counter on it. Uh, swing for five, six, seven, eight. Go to 12. All right, and let's go to turn six. An animation module. Wow. Okay, I'll tap one, play our animation module. And then I need to put a plus one counter on something. I don't have a way to get a creature to enter the battlefield, though. I can't attack with my Aether Storm Rock. So I'll attack with my Aether Storm Rock and my Metallic Mimic. I'm going to activate my Aether Storm Rock's ability, put a plus one counter on it. And that's going to be six plus one plus one counters. I'm going to go ahead and move that so I get ready for the flurry of activity. So plus one counter getting put on a creature lets me activate the animation module. Put out a servo. Servo entering gives me two energy. Trigger, trigger. Creature entering the battlefield. I'm going to not activate the durable handicraft and just go ahead and go swing with the animation module and get more plus one counters that way. Um, coming in gets two energy. Put those two plus one counters on my Aether Storm Rock. Getting plus one counters activates the animation module again to pay one. Get another servo. Get two more energies. Two more energies equals two more plus one counters. Go to ten. Gonna pay one more. Animation module is triggering from obviously the plus one counters being put on our eighth storm rock. Get another servo. Two plus more plus one plus one counters. And then I'm going to put the two plus one counters on the Aether Storm Rock as well. 
And by this time, he is a 15-15 along with my three I'm swinging. So I have pretty much won the game at this point. Um, I'll just be doing it one more time. One more servo, two more energy, two more plus one counters. I'm actually swinging for 17. 1920. All right, so that's going to be game. Um, got a lot more action on this game. Got to see how things interacted. Still couldn't, still couldn't end the game before turn six. But whenever I was gold fishing before, um, I was putting out the Aether Storm Rock on turn four, which uh, did kind of did things backwards here. Got my animation module after everything else. But uh, once I got it set up, I was still able to win, or win a turn later. So that is, I really like that. Let's uh, see if we can get anything more with it. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so uh, we actually have a lot of action in this hand. We got two animation modules along with a metallic mimic. So let's see what we can do with that. So for turn one, going to go forest into loam dryad. Also an Ornithopter. So turn two. Canopy Vista. Not really what we wanted to tap land, but oh well. Tap three. Um, I think I'm going to do the Metallic Mimic first. Cast him for two, and that will be my turn two. Go on to turn three. Storm Rock. Let's go ahead and do a animation module. So now I just need to get a plus one counter on something. Oh, I just need to have a servo enter the battlefield. So with that, I'll attack for two. Oh wait, uh, what else do I need to do? I should have cast a master trait here. Not sure. Going to tap one for another animation module and swing for two. Let's go to turn four. See if we can put something together. Loam dryad. Alright, it looks like I should have got out the Master Trinketeer last turn so that I can start. Could have had a servo enter the battlefield to go off with the Metallic Mimic. At least start doing something in that direction, so I'm going to go ahead and tap three for the Master Trinketeer. And, um, I forgot to name the Metallic Mimic as Servo, obviously, but that's the only way the combo works, so, uh, it's just kind of implied. So play testings for. So um, he's actually a three two because of my master trinketeer, and I will swing for three. We'll go on to turn five. Another metallic mimic. Interesting. Not do anything with the combo. Um, I could except play a uh, tap two for a or tap one and two for a another metallic mimic, naming a servo. Now he enters the battlefield as a servo, so I believe he gets a plus one counter, unless I'm mistaken, from the metallic mimic trigger. And then that triggering, getting a plus one counter. Let's me trigger my animation module for one and put out a servo. And with that, I can attack for four. Going on to turn six. An ornithopter. I don't think I have any creatures entering the battlefield. Getting a plus one counter, although I think I should have named my metallic mimic Thopter, because I don't have been able to play it and get a plus one counter on it, so I'll have to keep that in mind next time. That's an interesting interaction also with the Master Trinket here.
really need to go for Aether Storm Rocks. I'm going to go ahead and run out the Loam Dryad and another Ornithopter. And I am not attacking for the turn or activating any abilities, so I'm going to go ahead and just attack for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, because I forgot they were buffed from the Master Trinketeer, so 14 altogether, which would have been game. So we didn't really get to see any action on that game. Let's see if we can get some more on the next one. Let's go on. Continue on this venture of this madness. I'm getting an idea of where this deck needs to be, though, and so I think that on my next iteration I will be able to get a little bit more streamlined. Get it a little bit more uh, regular. So I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Ah, uh, don't like it, but we have what we need, so let's do it. Planes. Animation module. Turn two. Fortified village. Fortified village. Check land. To fabrication module. Turn three. Master Trinketeer. Uh, I think we'll actually do an Ornithopter. And then Planes, three, four, Ishgar. And a uh, creature entering the battlefield. Whenever you get one more. This didn't get any energies, but I had two plus one counters put on two creatures. So, I'm going to... Oh, I can't pay any anyways. So, let's move on to turn four. And I actually have my fourth mana here. Oh, the decoction module. Exactly what I needed. I'm going to... I guess I can tap three. For the Master Trinket here. Oh, wait. No, I should do the decoction module first and then master trinket here and I'll go ahead and swing for a three. Oh, I get a plus one counter when he entered I've got a the master trinket here entering I get an energy and then I get an energy so I get a plus one counter uh, put it on the Master Trinketeer, so I can make mana with him now. And then... So I've got my energy, my plus one counter, animation module. I'm going to tap my Rishgar to put a Servo into play. And that's going to be it for turn four. Let's move on to turn five, kind of making our army here. Decoction module. I actually do not know if I want to put play this decoction module right now. I have no use for energy. I'm going to try to make as many creatures as I can. One more plus one counters. I don't have a way to... I have to have a creature enter the battlefield to get my stuff going. So, let's see here. I'm going to make my army this turn and try to win next turn. So, I'm going to tap four to put another servo into play. Um, actually gonna put one up here. Two separate ones. This one has haste and one does not. I'm gonna use this one. I had to pay all four to activate the Master Trinketeer. It's a creature entering the battlefield. Uh, it does the decoction module. I get another energy counter. Getting an energy counter gives me a plus one counter, and I think I'm going to... My biggest person right now is going to be my Master Trinketeer, I think. Oh, it doesn't matter. I should just put them all on... Every, so I'm going to put put them all on the Master Trinketeer. I'm going to put one. I'm getting a plus one counter. I'm going to tap him. Pay for another animation module. Put out another servo turp. Put out another of these unhasted. 
servo tokens, token, energy, plus one counter. Plus one counter, tap my Rishkar, pay for the animation module to make a new servo. New servo coming into play gives me a new energy. New energy gives me another plus one counter. Getting a plus one counter activates animation module. My ornithopter uh, will make. All right, sorry, I got interrupted there. So uh, another servo entering the battlefield, put it on here, get another energy, get another plus one counter, and then I'm going to tap my last thing I can, my servo token, to make one more servo token. And get my energy and get my plus one counter. And now um, I'm all tied up to win, because next turn, Without casting anything, it will be turn 6. I can swing for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And these are actually all buffed by the Master Trinketeer. So instead of 5, 1, 1 servos, I have 5, 10, uh, five 2, 2. So that is 10 in all. So it would be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So... All right, that'd be way more than enough to win. I gotta see kind of what the deck could do on that one, but I'm all out of time for this video. So uh, now that I know where to go with this deck, I'm going to edit it up, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.